We have an update now to a CBS 46 investigation and a factory blamed for sickening hundreds in Cobb County. A judge now asked to decide whether the company's landlord should also be held accountable. CBS 46 investigative reporter Rachel Polanski has the details. Rachel. Hey Rick, I was the first to get my hands on this lawsuit last month, filed not only against the factory itself, Sterigenics, but also against its landlord, Prologis, who plaintiffs alleged did not repair or maintain the facility as it was required to, and may have exposed hundreds more to toxic gas. Attorneys brought these claims before a judge today. More than 300 people allege that unsafe ethylene oxide emissions at Sterigenics caused them or their family members to develop lymphoma, leukemia, breast cancer, or brain cancer. Our communities are being poisoned, and these companies are knowingly putting people at risk. Court filings obtained by CBS 46 investigates allege that landlord Prologis, quote, failed to maintain the sterogenic facility's roof and walls such that ETO has been able to escape into the surrounding community. That was the basis of the argument made by plaintiff's attorney, Kel Conley, today in court. Over the last 10 years, there have been holes in the roof sufficient for water to come into the chamber and the, the area where ETO is being utilized. Well, if water can flow in during rain, gas can flow out when it's not rain. But attorney Michael DiOrio, who represents Prologis, looks at things differently. We don't have anything to do with Sterigenics business. Okay, Your Honor, we have no control over it. We have no real no knowledge of it. It's their business. While he claims Prologis has nothing to do with Sterigenics business, according to court documents obtained by CBS 46 Investigates, a Prologis property manager emailed a roofing company in July 2017, quote, submitted a roof leak request. This building's roof is killing me. That August, she emailed again, quote, I'm dying. It's like we could have put in a new roof on this one already this year. This whole defense of well, we don't know what they're doing over there. We don't have anything to do with their business. What, what, huh, ETO? Oh, yeah, it's in the beginning, but we don't have anything to do with it. They absolutely do. Another issue brought up today, can a landlord be held responsible for alleged injuries or illnesses off-site? DiOrio says no. Prologis is only in this case because we're, we own the property uh, where ethylene oxide is used. And after 90 minutes of arguments, Cobb State Court Judge Jane Manning did not make a ruling, but said she tried to get an order out shortly. Reporting in studio tonight, I'm Rachel Polanski, CBS 46 News. Rachel,